Hello and good day. This is a new pair for me, Euro JPY. So let's see what we can get out of this pair after analyzing. So far, it is very clear that it is in uptrend. We are in currently in monthly down time frame. So the most closest possible double top is here. So let's mark it. This is possible double top we have uh, and uh, which is currently a little bit high from our price in the market and I wanted to find out what was the double bottom cost this so I tried to find something from here but the back here I couldn't find anything because there is no red and green here so it must have caused in a different time frame we will see later but let's see what caused this stop so let, if i analyze from here again there is no red and green so i leave it then i have this one so this is the thing the double bottom which caused the above top this is the monthly double bottom that is responsible for the price we are having here now or maybe above and if we see in the month it is clear that it broke the break broke the structure here so the break of the structure was here so price moved on uh, and then pushed down and again when the price structure is broken here it moved on then it pushed back and again there is a break and structure in here I yes 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 that's okay and the price moved on let me figure these things out properly and the price moved on and again we have this break of structure price pushed down then again price went up the break of structure happened here then the price moved up and now there is a pullback and the price is the break of structure happened here and price moved up so if uh, if you can see after each uh, break of structure the price moved on but there is a pullback moved on pullback moved on pullback moved on pullback and here it moved on here is the place which took three more months to push the price back because uh, the reason is this consolidation there was a one two three four five six seven eight nine ten months consolidation uh, one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven months consolidation so this consolidation this sometimes some mm, analysts say this uh, is the base so if the base is bigger the move will be bigger very simple so the base here is very small so the move is small base is small here a base is a little bit big again 
but it didn't move. And in, in a way, a price cannot move upward all the time. So this upward movement is uh, getting weak or uh, slowing down. We can see that the red candle is coming uh, after each push on the upside. So maybe there is a chance that uh, it will pull back uh, a little rather than pushing it upward. So that is all we can have uh, in this monthly chart. Uh, nothing else we can see here very significantly. But we would like to we would like to put some marking here. So if for any reason we want to see anything we can visualize that. So that's it for the mind monthly time frame. Let's move to weekly time frame. In weekly time frame uh, I think I need to activate this, otherwise we will not be able to visualize things properly. Let's uh, activate things properly. So this was the double bottom we had. This was the double bottom we had. Let's visualize now in week. So in week, if we see here, we don't have any double bottom. Here we have a double bottom. We can count it from here. Uh, and this is actually the major area where the price was consolidated for a long time. And it pushed the price here and same thing happened everywhere. But here also, if we can see after this first phase, the second phase consolidation of week happened here. So it is my derogative or my way of thinking. I would consider the most uh, current consideration into uh, consideration for analysis. So I, I, I am picking up this double top, double bottom in week. So this is red, green, red, green. So this is the double bottom of the week. Uh, so do we have a double top in the week so I went back here and I couldn't found any uh, week or shadow in here the nearest shadow is somewhere here in week uh, uh, sorry there is no shadow or week but I tried to draw the line and I failed. So there is no top. If we go to through this line, there is no double top in week. But what is happening in week? If you can see that uh, if we study from here, the break of structure in week happened here first. So. Then yeah, it moved, moved, pushed up, then it pulled back. Again, it, it, it's a phase of consolidation. Again, when the price break the structure here, it moved up. And again, the price broke the structure here and it went up and it, it, it was here for a long time one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven seventy seven days eleven weeks was here so this is a very good base and uh, i am mm, and it's a very good momentum candle but the problem is here so far uh, on the flip side it is going for a long time this uh, bullish trend and it de it it does indicate that it it will go further but it is getting weak because whenever the consolidation happens on the higher price range it means uh, uh, it is very difficult to push the price above that's why it is taking so much time 
so uh, in weekly uh, we can see that liquidity has been taken out from here already considering this if we consider this right now the liquidity has been taken out already and that uh, push the price uh, here right now maybe it will go higher so in week we do not have any particularly we don't have any uh, uh, double top and here we can see it has also managed uh, in this this candle the red candle has managed to take out the pair gap value from here too still we have a lot of pair gap value left here 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 all these areas are still need to be taken care of so far and there is no fair gap value gap left here so i don't think it will uh, it will come to this uh, position uh, uh, immediately coming back to uh, the daily time frame now we have uh, a cup and handle already formed with a very clearly and it has pushed it upward now the cup and handle the neck is broken if you guys see very clearly the neck is broken undoubtedly the neck is broken and here the neck is broken and the price pushed up broke this area then we have a pullback now the price is trying to get higher as you know uh, that uh, this price uh, the effect of the <coughs> this uh, candle i mean this uh, the bigger one the dated on if you say 31st october after the boj bank of japan has uh, decided not to intervene it was a free fall of japanese yen uh, later one of their key officer has uh, given a press release that they are going to intervene if something likes and that that stopped the price immediately and pushed back the price uh, in the consequent the next day so it happened like this but uh, in reality the euro is getting uh, is strong and it, it pushed the price like this to be, to be honest with you you can see this uh, uh, fundamental change or in, uh, intervention by the key personnel of bank of japan in us dollar more clearly so if you go to ejbp usd you can see here that the price has uh, after the uh, in intervention by the bank of japan key personnel uh, press release it happened so coming back to here now what what we can see now there is two option we have here as per the structure uh, pattern of the market we can say that the price will move uh, from this neck line to here up to here to from this neckline on the top and if we measure the 50 percent of it you can see it is touching the double top possible double top area uh, daily double top area can you see guys very clearly if we measure this let's ask me about this and it is just the half the half is here and uh, it, it has the possibility uh, to reach there and the possibility is very high so the probability of taking trade here uh, will be safe but uh, before we confirm that we would like to see what is happening in four hours so in four hours we can see that it has created a double top already and this is the thing the bfi big financial institute institute stake advantage that we are seeing in daily time frame 
that it will go high to this region and uh, let me visualize this in our the time frame so you guys can see things very easily so I'm sorry that I have to stop uh, talking and do things which may bore some of you people but this is important so you can see things in both time frame and make your own judgment so you see now this is the thing that uh, we have a uh, double top here possible double top of the day time frame uh, here possible uh, We have a possible double top here, and uh, if we go to four hours, where is the possible double top? I don't know how it is here. So we have a possible double top here in day time frame, but here, what we see that in four hours already, already. Let me reduce it a little so you, you guys can see it more clearly. So you can see that there is a possible double uh, double top in daytime, but uh, here it has already formed a, a double top in four hours, and this these things uh, create a, a, the BFI big financial institution takes advantage of it. Let me enlarge it a little more so we can draw it properly. Uh, this is the thing we have now, right there. So this thing is that, uh, this is the 4 hour and this 4 hour has been created from here. And this guy has taken liquidity, all this liquidity from here. This guy has taken liquidity, I mean this guy has taken liquidity from here and pushed it. So if we measure the 4 hours, if we measure from the rejection to the initiation of 4 hours, the halfway journey is uh, somewhere here the half of the journey is here and one way or the other it has completed the journey on the bottom side now what the price can do in my opinion there is two option the price has left here so if you want if you guys want to take trade be careful in this thing because this is uh, nothing can be assured here very clearly mm. first of all that uh, first of all if we go to four hours we have two issues here number one is this that the price has formed the double top in four hours it may come and collect liquidity from here collect liquidity so it may come down in this zone and collect liquidity this is one of the idea each it can collect liquidity so my way of thinking and there is another place it can be refused from this price level from where the break of structure happened so these are the two places from where price can go upward but it has to come down if I would like to trade if I would like to take the trade what I will do I will take the trade uh, from exactly this area but uh, I'll do it in a way that it has to come a little bit lower because most of the people will provide this stop loss here and I take trade 
where the people uh, put their stop loss. If I have that rate, I take it. If I don't have that rate, I don't mind. I don't mind. And then it will break. It may break here. Do some retest again. And then maybe it will reach for the half uh, mark of, uh, of this. This is the half. And all the references on the left side are far, far away, which is beyond uh, right now on my part to attach here. So I will, if there is any change, I will, uh, I will update you guys. So let's create the trade from here. Let's create the trade. If I take trade here then what will be my trade I will take trade in 159.50 my stop loss will be 159.30 or 35 and my take profit will start to be on the conservative side I will do I will measure the half of it first from here to here and my target profit first initial target profit will be here somewhere here so let's write it down and see how does the trade materialize mm, go long at 159.50 Stop loss will be one fifty nine three five. Take profit will be one sixty one point one zero. Or oh, let's put it one sixty one, not one zero. One sixty one itself is a resistance. So this is the trade I have and I hope you enjoy it. And disclaimer, once again, I don't take any responsibility of the trade you take based on this. It's completely your discretion and, and neither I do uh, required any, um, uh, what I say, any profit or loss. So you make your own analysis and if you take any trade based on this analysis, it is your discretion and derivative. Take care. Bye-bye.